Hi, welcome to Mix and Jam, a channel about game development experimentation. Today's project is inspired by Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime has a very unique feel to its first-person shooter control. Both the beam projectile and heads-up display look fantastic. And for this project, I wanted to try and recreate that same visual feeling using Unity. So here are the steps I needed to follow for this recreation. Create both simple and charged beam projectiles. Implement the same visual from the heads-up display. And polish the scene with some extra effects. I started off by importing the standard asset package from Unity to my project and using the FPS controller prefab on my scene. Then I downloaded this incredible model of Samus made by this user on Sketchfab. I used Maya to detach the cannon from the rest of the model and attached it to the controller object. To work on the beam projectiles, instead of instantiating new objects every time, I decided to use the particle system instead. That way, I can easily change parameters on the projectile. And to shoot, all I had to do was to play the particle system. To add a bit of intensity to the shot, I made the cannon move back a bit by using Du Tung's punch position. Then, I started working on the charging states for the cannon by detecting how long the mouse button was pressed. With those states, I implemented the other particle system for each charging moment, like the growing sphere and the sphere mesh emission that loops until it's released. I also added some movement to the cannon to really sell the feeling that the beam is charging. Then, I started working on the heads up display. To do that, I created a new camera and added cubes on the top and bottom of it to start testing the layout. I made a new layer called Helmet for those cubes and changed the culling mask of that camera for that layer. After that, I changed the Clear Flags property from Skybox to Death only. This way, I can choose the order in which the cameras render. In this case, I made the Helmet camera render in front of everything. The UI elements on Metroid Prime are slightly curved and they are also part of the helmet object. So I achieved that effect by creating a regular UI canvas and setting its render mode to screen space camera. Then I created a new camera just for that canvas that can only view UI elements. And then I created a new render texture that renders the visual output from that camera. With that, I can create a new material using the render texture and apply it to any 3D model on the scene. In that way, it's easy to just modify the 2D canvas and see the effect on a 3D surface. For this project, I collaborated with my friend Vito Moreira, which is a super talented 3D artist. Definitely check out more of his work on his Instagram. Vito helped me out by making the assets for both the helmet and visor, so I replaced everything on my scene with those objects. Then, I started recreating the images in the game's UI and organizing their position on my canvas. For some polish, I made the player movement a bit more organic by making the helmet rotate a bit with the controller movement by lerping its rotation based on the mouse axis. I also added extra particles for the beam projectiles. Then, I made it so that the cannon emission intensity increased when the player was charging. And finally, I added some post-processing to the scene. After a bit of adjustments, this is how it turned out. The link for the project's repository is on the description below. If 
you ever experiment with the code, make sure to share it on Twitter using the Mix and Jam hashtag. And by the way, Mix and Jam only exists because of all of the support I get from lovely people on Patreon, including these top tier supporters. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.